How's it going everybody? This is Manny from Lotac. Today we're looking at some PlayStation 1 emulation on the Nintendo Switch. This is running Android 10 and I'm using the Duck Station emulator. The settings I use for this test are as follows. I have Android 10 in performance mode. Resolution in Duck Station is set to 3x so it's about 720p and the video back end is OpenGL. Before we get into the gameplay, if you enjoyed the video I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. And that way, also, you won't miss out on any of this emulation goodness. Now, let's take a look at some PlayStation 1 emulation on the Nintendo Switch. Tactical Squad, please report to Lower Engineering Deck. Attempting uplink communications to Navy operations. Complete. Communications online. Mission objectives. Ensure the civilian convoy reaches its destination safely. You are cleared to take offensive actions against any hostile craft. Objectives understood. Hopefully this will be an easy ride.
Looky oh. here. Lock and load. Victory. Round two. Fight. <laughs> There he is, stop him! <laughs> Yeah! 
Definitely very happy with the performance of PS1 on the Nintendo Switch. Putting Android in performance mode definitely gives you a boost in emulation performance. It was nice being able to upscale this to 720p so that you can crisp up your PlayStation 1 gaming experience. On that note, I'm going to call this video a wrap. Stay tuned for my next Nintendo Switch video that will be covering Dreamcast emulation, specifically with the ReDream emulator. There's a lot of exciting things going on with ReDream, specifically added support for Windows CE games, an example being Sega Rally 2. So I'm really excited about that. Plan on incorporating Windows CE games into the gameplay video that is upcoming. So stay tuned for that. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope it was enjoyable, and I hope everybody has a great day.